Hey, Mr. McClellan. Hi. Hi. So what are we going to be learning, Mr. McClellan? Be patient. Don't you know me? I am patient. Every day you come in and say, what are we doing today? Like, I haven't even taken attendance yet. Calm down. I'm still waiting on people to get in here. I'm going to learn something new. I don't know. Talk about how, like, every kingdom in history falls. Do every gangsters, actual kings, because no one ever noticed. Every time a kingdom rise, there will always be a fall. Am I right or am I wrong? LeBron, I'm not even listening to you. I don't know why I'm still calling, but your class is the only class that shows makes me show up unmuted. Oh my god. Well, that's flattering, I think. Man, you too. I've said, like, I've accidentally said stuff before. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Hmm. Okay. We don't have Alexis or Zane yet. I'm gonna wait just a minute to get them to see if they'll come in. But in the meantime, I I kind of already told you yesterday what we'd be doing today, but I'm gonna just go over it um, so that I can show you. And then if you have any questions about it. Um, it's 11 o'clock. Thank you. You can ask, um, but like I said, Wednesdays are gonna be pretty independent work. Like we'll meet and talk about what we're doing but then you'll be able to leave the call and work on it on your own. Um, I think that's just a good way to work these all virtual days. Um, so let me share my screen with you and show you guys where the stuff is that we're working on today. <clears throat> this is your class, yes. Okay. Um, it would help if I published it. There we go. So this is what you're going to be working on today, the crucible scene one. Um, if you will remember yesterday, we went through this Wednesday discussion posts and you might want to open that back up um, to remind yourself of what is expected of you for these discussion posts. Um, but without opening it back up, because I don't want to download another copy of this for myself. Um, your posts should be 200 words. They should be original and thought provoking. They should be edited. Um, and if you want extra points, you can earn up to 10 extra points by um, engaging with somebody else's post. Because ideally, I don't think it should take you this entire time um, to do the posts. But some people think 200 words is a lot. I promise it is actually not. Um, 200 words looks like about that much, honestly. Um, so it's not, it's not asking a ton of you. But so the thing that we're going to be talking about today, or that you're going to be writing about, two major questions. And this is John Proctor and Abigail from the movie, actually. Winona Ryder and Daniel Day-Lewis, award-winning people. Um, Number one, what impressions do you have so far of Abigail Proctor in Paris? What are some good qualities they exhibit and what might be some negative ones? And what evidence do you have of those in the play? Um, so more than just, I don't like Abigail. What do you think is, what do you think of, why don't you like her if that's the case? Um, like what qualities does she have that you don't like and how does she show those so far in the play? Um, so Abigail Proctor and Paris are really the only ones that we have gotten to know kind of well thus far. Um, everybody else has had kind of like one or two lines. So wait, 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 wait. Her last name is Proctor. John Proctor. Abigail Williams, John Proctor, and Reverend Samuel Paris, I think. 
Is there somebody named Goody in this story? Oh, okay. I'm actually glad you asked me that. Goody Proctor, and they also talk about Goody Putnam. Goody is just a name, like a title that basically uh-huh. means Mrs. But that's what they called them like back in the Puritan days. So anytime, and sometimes you'd see. There is, so it was, there is a Goody Proctor in here? Yes. And that yes. is John Proctor's wife. Her that's John was, Proctor's uh, wife you have? Yeah. yeah. It, it's called the crucible. Yes. Yes. Crucible. Yep. Yes. We'll also talk later about what a crucible is and why it's called the crucible. Um, and then the second part of what you're going to be writing is it's, it's clear that the relationship between Abigail and John Proctor was forbidden, even sinful, but Proctor has decided to move past it and Abigail cannot seem to. Why is she so drawn to John Proctor even though he's married? And your hint there is that we talked about this at the very end of class yesterday. Um, are her reasons for loving him still justifiable or does she just need to stop? Is her attitude about their situation childish or mature? Um, so you have those two parts and um, you know, 200 words for all of that is really not much at all. If you want to go beyond 200 words, you absolutely can. Um, but then once you're finished, um, you should finish reading act one, scene one on your own before class tomorrow. We will start reading scene two together in class. I think we left off on page 14 of the PDF and scene one goes through page 25. Um, so it's like 10 pages, but also it's a play. So it takes practically no time to read. Um, any questions about this? Okay, well, that's your task for today. Don't forget, submit it in discussions when you're done. And then if you want to go back and read some other people's posts that they have finished and get extra points by responding to those then that's absolutely great you can get up to 10 extra points um oh shoot now alexis is coming in the meeting alexis i literally just explained everything that we're doing <laughs> i'm so sorry. sorry i'm i'm in a different time zone right now and I'm still trying to figure out like where are you where I'm supposed to be um I'm in Vegas with my dad gotcha mm-hmm. okay um well I was about to tell everybody that they can leave and work on this independently if they want um what we're doing is on the discussion posts for today I just kind of ran through oh. Yeah, you explained those yesterday. I did, yes. And you have basically like two parts of a question to answer. But um, I was also just saying if everybody else or if other people get finished with their posts and have already submitted them, you can go and look back through the other posts and respond to some for 10 extra points if you want. So um, I will stay on this call, particularly for if you have any questions, um, but you are free to leave and work on this independently. Later. Okay, well. They don't have to leave. It's okay. okay. If you're good with them. Yeah. Being here. Um, so there's definitely a couple of things that I haven't graded yet. So I don't know if you have turned them in or not. But let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like I don't really have anything from you. What do you what do you think you have turned in already? Because um, I haven't gone back to see like late work. Did you get my podcast thingy? Let's take a look. So I haven't graded those yet, but let me go into the assignment and see. 
Okay, I don't have it on canvas. Okay, let me send that to you then. Okay. The sinners in the hands of an angry God. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. I thought I already had that. I guess not. Hello? Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. The good thing is we haven't actually had any, until today, we haven't actually had any graded work this week. Okay. Did we do this sinners thing together? We read it together, but we didn't do the we didn't do the work together. Mm, okay. Yeah. What was I just about to look at? Um, Can you help me with my story during lunch? During lunch? Yeah, unless you're busy. Um. No, I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get as much stuff as I can turned in. <sighs> yeah, since we have progress reports coming out next week. Yeah. And I'm far behind almost in all of my classes. We also, um, well, let me look at my stuff for tomorrow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Randall, you're my only student in this class on Thursdays and Fridays too. Like my oh, you know, here in, in, uh, in person. Yes. Um, and I think we'll we'll probably use the whole class time tomorrow, but on Friday we might be able to work on some stuff together. Too. All right. Why is this not cooperating with me? Um. Okay, can I just like sit here and finish some things with you, like while I'm here? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. So what kids come on on Wednesdays? Nobody. 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 On Wednesday.
Okay, I have a question now. Okay. It's about the half hanged yeah. thing. Um, the first question I like, so I asked my mom to help me with it, and she helped me with it, but I still didn't understand. Like, I like I got the answer after I re, re, read it over again. Yeah. But I don't know how to say it. You said number one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me look here. The author's purpose for using imagery of the farmer. Let me go look at paragraph 11. Oh, um, I mean, it's a pretty vivid image. And I mean, yeah, I just don't know how to say it, yeah. more or less. Like, I got the answer, but I don't know how to, like, type it out or, like, say it to make it make you, sense. Um, it's okay if it doesn't make sense when you say it, but, like, what what are you thinking the answer is? So, they say that he was, like, drinking something or he was reading. And so, <laughs> what I believe is that it was showing us that the man his brain was distracted from something or like yeah. he was preoccupied with something and it kind of because of that it showed him having different ideas of what was actually happening what he well what he thought was happening rather than what was actually happening yeah so you could say like it shows us that he is drinking alcohol and reading to show us that he, he's maybe not totally in his right mind and has imagined all of this stuff about a witch and if he were thinking clearly maybe he wouldn't have jumped to that conclusion okay thank you yeah <laughs>